The way we're putting on the sheathing, we measured down four feet and put nails in so we could set the sheathing on it. And then somebody holds it from this side and then I go on the other side and draw out where the window is. And then we take it down, cut it, put it back up there with some glue and put some screws in to hold it in place and then I'm gonna go back and nail it. Uh, we just finished our sheathing. Uh, the way we did that, we used half inch plywood. Um, we started at the bottom, did a row. We did a, a row on the top and then we went a zigzag like this. So the middle row would be slightly off from the top and the bottom row. We use glue and screws every foot around the edges and every two feet in the field. And then we went back with um, nails and went in between those. So it was every six inches around the edge and every 12 inches in the field. I already showed you how we cut out the windows. Most people put it up here to dry fit it, but they don't draw out their windows to cut them out. And let me tell you, it's a lot easier to mark, bring it down, cut it out, and then just throw it back up here. Um, we use Liquid Nail Extreme Heavy Duty on all the studs and all the way around all the sills. You want one eighth gap between the long sides of your plywood and 132nd on the short sides. Um, the reason we use glue and screws and nails, uh, we did this with any of the structural components. You have a pull out strength with the screws and you have the shear strength of the nail. So you kind of have the best of both worlds and it really doesn't take that much more time. So the way we cut out for the wheel wells on both sides, we held a piece of plywood in here and traced this out and then we put it up against a long um, strip of plywood and cut this part out. So we did that and then traced it onto this board and then we flipped it around and traced it on the other side. Works pretty well. Um, for the time being, I went back with some of the stuff I used for the subfloor, uh, the asphalt paper, and stuck it in between here. And then I'm going to go over with the uh, window tape when it comes in tomorrow, just to get a little bit more of a watertight seal around here. One more thing I'd like to add. Um, snap chalk lines where your studs are. It just makes it a lot easier when you're uh, rocking down the line with a framing nailer. I did not do it. <laughs> but um, if I had to do it over, I, I probably would have. All right, we finally get to take these supports out. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what it looks like.
Podcast.